hello friends today I'm going to show you how to configure replication in Windows Server 2012 R2 for the Hyper-V in this demo I have total three machine this is my domain controller the DC01 is my domain controller and I have two Hyper-V hosts Hyper-V01 Hyper-V02 both are the Hyper-V hosts right and then I am going to so you this is my hyper v1 host with the actually this is my hyper v1 host and here you can verify and here is my hyper v2 host and uh, and in hyper v hyper v1 i have installed one windows 7 machine virtual machine and and just done the basic configuration under the hyper v2 host I have also installed one machine that is Windows 8 and this is my Hyper-V2 host and I have taken the both server Hyper-V1 and 2 remote management through the Hyper through the domain controller DC1 and this is my Hyper-V manager and I am just opening my Hyper-V manager I am waiting to here is the screen of the Hyper-V manager and here is the my two servers that I have connected to Hyper-V 01 Windows 7 Hyper-V 02 Windows 8 right so I am just going to configure the replication I am going to enable the replication so I am just clicking on Hyper-V 01 settings and here is the you know here is the thing live migration and storage migration these things and I am just going to configure the replication right so I am just enabling this computer as a replica server and I am using HTTP port 80 and I am just going to uh, you know use a D drive for the uh, for the store storage of the hard disk of the replicate so replicate virtual machine so I am just applying the server and saying yes I need to you know uh, I have to allow the port number 80 is enabled in the firewall so okay no problem I will do it after enabling the replication and here also hyper v2 server I am going to enable and just turn the same as hyper v2 server I did and okay apply and as as the pop up cal I am going to enable uh, going to enable hyper hyper v port 80 for the replication and i'm going to allow application to features and here is the one option change setting i click the change setting and here is the option hyper v replica http i'm going to enable for the public and private network to applied and i'm just doing the same procedure on my Hyper-V2 server here is I'm opening the firewall here is the windows firewall and allow changes change setting and then I am going to enable the replica HTTP OK and now I am going on my this is your own where I have taken the both remote and just going to here and for the particular virtual machine I click on enable replication and here is the screen for enable replication for Windows 7 Edge next and replica server where I want to replicate the Windows 7 Win 7 machine so I am just taking my hyper v hyper v 02 machine and here is the Hyper-V02 machine I am clicking OK next it's showing me the configuration Hyper-2 Hyper-V02 and it's OK there was no problem and where the hard disk need to replicate D drive virtual machine Win7 perfect and what is the replica time so I am configuring to use like 15 minutes for the replica for the replication of the hard disk right so next and here is the configuration additional record because there is no need to change anything so these things 
initiate the replica method send initial copy over the network that's fine and schedule the initial replica so uh, I just start the replication immediately next and click finish and completing the replication will start okay it will take few seconds to complete and here is the basically uh, and did here is the sending initial replications three person four person and we can verify over here and we get the machine here on the hyper v02 it's receiving changes five percent and it will take few hours mm, depending on the size of hard disk and depending on the size speed of your network so it will take some time and as did i'm going to replicate windows 8 machine from hyper v02 to hyper v01 fine so just click on windows 8 machine enable replica and wait for the enable replica for windows 8 great and next and we need to you know select the server so i am selecting hyper v01 and check sorry i hyper v02 there was no problem with the same and here is the hyper v01 fine click next verifying it's getting setting from the hyper v01 and it's using http perfect where is the hyper v replication vsd files and it's fine for me and i am just selecting 15 minute next and no problem send initial copy over the network immediately fine so i have i have uh, configured the windows 8 replica from hyper v0 to to hyper v01 and as the same windows 7 machine from this hyper v01 to second host that is so from here we can verify it's like it's like sending sending initial replica from one hyper v01 to hyper v02 and this is receiving the changes so both are sending and receiving the uh, exactly vhd file actually vsd file for the um, for the replication and just we need to wait for few minutes and once the replication gets complete i will show you how to change the replication from here and um, you can verify here is the replication is still running so no problem just wait for few so here we can see replication is almost done it's uh, for windows 7 it's done and merging in process and receiving update 95 percent so almost replication is done so we can verify one thing what is the status of the replication from here so view replication health if we click on these this is just calculating the stuff and replication enable primary is this one currently replica server is hyper v0 to replication health is normal from time this is time and this is average size what is average size this is the all information about the health of the replicate virtual machine so we can verify from here also view the replication health and the replication is like we can verify replication health is normal so this is all about the how to we can config how to configure the replica uh, in windows server 2012 r2 with the hyper v thank you for watching if you have any question and query you can mail me on my mail id this is the my mail id so thank you for watching